My first memories of the 3051 go back to when the project started. It was a very dynamic environment. It was a small company. We were rapidly growing in the marketplace. We were expanding overseas. When we first started the project, the 1151 was the standard, the gold standard, if you will. Technology had started to change uh, in the 80s. Man, you look back, it's the first PCs showed up and then the VAX computers and things like that. And that technology opportunity to do something different and better. And we kind of looked at it as a chance to do it better, uh, more cost effectively and faster. Make it easier to use, easier to install, easier to configure. Before that time, Rosemont and, uh, used entirely diode detector circuits and it worked for us for many years, but it's a little bit large in its footprint. I think the new demands that led for the 3051 were digital technology. With the 1151 product, people still had to use a screwdriver to calibrate. And with the 3051, it was digital and it was smaller and more compact. Traditional instrumentation were 12 to 20 pounds, very large, very bulky in nature. The 3051 was less than one third the size and only about six pounds. The fact that we could fit it on a page, meaning it's gonna be easier for you to handle and work with, um, really made that ad compelling. So we were pretty excited. What surprised me most about the way our customers are using the 3051 is that they're using it in so many different applications. The 3051 is used in a variety of harsh applications um, all over the world. And most recently, um, we provided 3051s for a petrochemical refinery project in the middle of Russia, where they required very cold ambient temperature operating limits of negative 52 degrees Celsius. It really comes down to the performance. It, it really sets the industry standard of what a pressure, how a pressure transmitter should perform. The people that developed and designed the product and established the processes for the 3051, I think worked diligently to truly understand the market, the customer needs. Collaboration with customers is the most important thing when you're bringing out new technology. Our work with customers allowed us to make this product right, to make it quickly, and uh, to hit all these goals that we had set for ourselves. I think the 3051 has maintained its leadership position because number one, to start with, it was a great technology. Number two, we've continued to advance and improve it. So that continuous improvement, which was one of our mantras also, uh, was that we leave those doors open in the design so that it could, it could grow and could meet more needs. The ability of the 3051 to continue to solve our customers' toughest problems is just such a bright future for the product. The technology that's in development will take advantage of the increased intelligence of the device, the application solutions to provide new ways to measure pressure, level, and flow for our customers will continue to advance. I think it's a great honor to preserve the legacy of the 3051 while continuing to invest in it so that it can meet um, customers' problems and solve their problems in the future.